life of a mom and an entrepreneur. I was at the post office earlier and literally forgot that I had more orders to drop off. So I'm back dropping off some sample orders. But I didn't have any more of the dog on envelopes. So I got to package these last few orders up in the car. And then my son, Journey, is in the back. He's super fussy right now because he does not want to sit in the car. I'm literally illegally parked right now. And I got my camera, like, popped up on the dashboard. So there's, like, all the people are literally, like, staring me down because I'm not even supposed to be sitting here. But these people got to get their orders, okay? So I got to do what I got to do. Um... So yeah, so literally if you guys want sample orders, my sample orders just consist of um, sample size pieces of the curly, straight, and body wave textures. And then I'm also shipping out, what is in this? Oh, I'm also shipping out um, bundle hang tags as well. So someone ordered a thousand custom bundle hang tags, hang, no not hang tags, bundle wraps. So I'm sending this out as well. My camera is dying. What is going on? But this is the start of my day. Chicago is about to have a snowstorm, so I'm trying to literally rush back home before the snowstorm starts. Today has just been all over the freaking place. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. You know, like when you illegally do something, like I'm illegally parked right now, other cars, it's okay, baby. Other cars are doing the starting to do the same thing, so I don't feel as bad anymore. And then I just gotta put my labels on. And that is it. What's up, you guys? It's Coach Jelena. I know I got my coat on, all that craziness, because I'm literally about to go outside and shovel some snow. Yeah, this is life without a man, okay? But, <laughs> but I just really wanted to get on here and drop this video for you guys, because it was one question that a subscriber by the name Miss Ambitious123 left under my previous video, my vendor video. So I wanted to address this comment in an actual video in case those of you guys wanted to know this information as well. So her comment basically went into detail about how many vendors should a hair company have. So like always, Coach Jelena has stepped in the room and to answer your question, Miss Ambitious, I personally recommend a hair company have between one and three vendors. Now I know some of you guys are probably gonna be like, what the hell, three vendors, how do I like build all these relationship with vendors and all this craziness but the reason i say between one and three vendors because vendors select i do personally feel like you should have one main vendor that kind of supplies everything that you need for your company but like with my hair company i have a vendor but i don't feel like i didn't feel like at the time that the vendor that i was getting like my bundles and all that good stuff through supplied good quality wigs so then i went out and got an actual a actual wig vendor and so forth so that's just a little behind the scene insight from my from my perspective now i want you guys to know that this is strictly just my opinion you guys are more than welcome to have as many vendors as you personally want but i do personally feel like each vendor kind of has a niche or what they cater towards some vendors cater more towards lashes and have beautiful quality lashes amazing designs um, or styles should I say and it kind of goes hand in hand with um, hair some companies or some vendors have really good bundles but not so much on the wig side or not so much on the color coloring side of wigs or quality as well so to answer your questions I do feel like you should have a main vendor but I also do feel like you should have a backup vendor in case your main vendor decides to act funny because vendors act funny all the time and sometimes their quality does change over time. So instead of, so we're just gonna put this as in like example terminology, example terms. Let's say you're you're having crazy orders, okay? Crazy orders. And the vendor that you're working with that supplies your main products for your hair goes ghost because this can happen. Or sometimes factories overseas, they will just vanish off the internet. 
it's still up to you as that business owner to still pull through for your customers so therefore if you have a second vendor on the line that you know their hair is good that you know that they're going to supply the same quality that your customers are used to you can just always order from them so that's a, a really good way that you can think about it, just kind of setting your business up for success instead of setting it up to fail. And I always tell you guys this, if you've been watching my videos for quite some time, do not put all of your eggs in one vendor basket. Because guess what? Your girl over here got, I have multiple vendors lined up in case one vendor decides to show out or act funny or not respond or whatever the scenario could be. So I want you guys to think of it that way. Don't always settle for l settle because sometimes if you settle, you can always end up hurting yourself in the end. And it is okay to have different vendors for different things that your company does supply. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long or anything, but sometimes different vendors do offer great quality hair but are at a, a discounted or cheaper price. So let's say your main vendor who supplies all of the bundles for your hair let's say that their wigs are just kind of like a little too expensive for your liking um and a little too this isn't even a word that i'm going to say but in affordable <laughs> for your cus for your company and for what you portray to your com company it is okay to kind of like dibble and dabble with different vendors but always make sure you're just pulling through for your vendors uh, regarding quality and always think of quality over quantity remember that uh, but really quickly before your girl goes out here and shovels this dog in this damn snow um uh thank you guys for flooding me with orders uh for all of the stock images and all of the things that i've been presenting in the year 2021 i've definitely been in the process of rebranding a lot of things for my company so thank you guys for definitely uh, shopping with me and supporting my business and all that good stuff so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you you drop some drop your business at either like a website link or instagram link or however i can reach you guys so that i can go support some of your businesses because it is shopping time it's time to shop it's time to you know it'll be um summer soon or not summer but spring soon the seasons are changing so i definitely want to support a lot more businesses in the future and in case anybody else that is watching this also wants to go and support any other small businesses um this will be a great time for you guys to kind of like promote your business below but other than that, I love, love, love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. And I'm ready to give a lot of my support back to you all. But other than that, I will see you guys later. But really quickly, I'm going to show y'all all this damn snow that your girl got to go shovel. Like, <sighs> well, let me show you. All of, all of this, I have to go shovel the patio and, oh, so wish so wish me luck. But other than that, I will see you bosses in my next video. And until next time, Coach Jelena is out.